When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, FB Aftermath. Yo, check this out. I want to talk to you guys. I don't think I've had a chance to really talk to you guys about the intensity that I expect from myself when I hit the gym. And, you know, what encourages me to to get under 500 pounds or 600 plus pounds on the, on the uh, squat or even to deadlift up to 800 pounds. I think these things are very important when it comes to mindset and the game of fitness and being in the gym. Now, being in the gym is all about aggression, all right? It's not a club, club face type of scenery, all right? Being in the gym is about, you know, you wanna be pissed off, you know, because that's your, that's, that's where you're re releasing so many stressors and gaining them as well um, you know, for, for me, of course, when you talk about stressors and the muscles and blah, blah, blah. But anyways, when it comes to the gym, it's all about a certain type of mood that you have to tap into. You have to be able to create a, almost an alter ego, you know, whether it's your silent self, just the silent beast, or you could be, you know, Juji and just a crazy go all around and get shit done type of person. Now, for me, I am, I'm an in-between. You know, it depends, but if I'm really around other people that motivate me, uh, like Russ Wohl or Larry, uh, I won't say motivate, but like, are like, you know, like, oh, just bring bring the energy. I don't mean motivate, but I mean like bring the energy. You know, people that you can train with that brings intensity. Um, now when it comes to the gym, get your business done, all right? Work, all right? When I go to the gym, when I'm thinking about getting under that 500 pounds, all right, it's either, I'm, I like to be silent. I don't like to be touched. Right? I don't like the slap city shit. Like I don't like stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't touch me. <laughs> like, I, it's, it's just, you know, you might like that. You might like the slap city or whatever else. Pump me up, punch me, you know, kick me in the balls type shit. Whatever weird shit you're into, that's cool. Whatever gets you to get focused is key. And I think you need to understand what that feels like and make it consistent. Consistency in the gym is going to keep you in the long run. All right, understanding. Don't just work out to work out, but understand. All right, I had a good workout. What did I do to have this good workout? What happened today that I had this good workout? That I that, that this good workout happened. Now it could be because somebody you know complimented you on your look, and you're like, oh, I want to keep that up, and or you know you see progress, which is always a motivation. Progress is always a motivation. Or, you know, you just watch somebody's video, like mine sometimes, and you just got super motivated to, I mean, just fuck shit up, pretty much. Now, you know, I, I would keep tabs of these things, because sometimes, I don't, I don't write them down, but I mentally say, all right, this is what I had this day, this is what I ate, this is what pre-workout I had, um, you know, this is how much sleep I got. You know, these are things that I kind of keep tabs of mentally on my great workout days, and you must keep up with those things because you're going to come to a point to where you have one good workout, bad, 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 another one, and then it's just like you might have a couple bad workouts where your intensity wasn't there, like another workout. And you have to really grasp like, all right, why is that? And then we start to ask why, 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 you start to go all these other routes and you just need to understand to keep those mental notes in your head, all right? Now, for me, it's, it's a, it's a, being, being in, you know, fitness, fitness is my job. Fitness is my job. It's expected of me to go be smoked and stuff like that. You know, sometimes I don't always train super crazy, um, you know, but I do show a lot of those workouts because those are the most entertaining workouts, but there are simple workouts that I do, which I feel like I should show you guys to let you know that, you know, everything is not be smoked this, be smoked that, be smoked whatever, but it is, you know, just like I said, it's something that I do for the, the more entertaining purposes. I don't really like to waste time making videos that um, I feel like aren't, you know, aren't intensifying or such. So, you know, what you see in this workout right now is just me. This is a five, 505 bench. I'm um, just going crazy ham on my exercises. You know what I'm saying? Today is one of those days where the intensity was just there. You know, I was excited that I hit that 505 bench and then I just went ham on every other exercise. Just heavy weights. You know, keeping my posture, keep the form is there, but I'm still like putting heavy weights on the on the bar, um, where it's lat pull downs, chin ups. It was just my back was pumped. You know, like today felt good, and I just felt like throwing up 
heavy weights today. And there are days where when you feel, when you throw up heavy weight and you're like, yo, I want to do more, yo, do it. Do it, also be safe, but do it. Like, don't let those days go by. You know, if, you, if you're not a power lifter and you're not on a tight schedule, you know, then do it because those things will help you, you know, and ego is not a bad thing, all right? Now, keep your form, um, lift safely, but ego is not a bad thing. Sometimes you just want to really get it in and just, like, act like you own the world, like you're sitting on top of the world, and those are good things that you want to feel, and those are good things that you want to feel and, and keep mental notes of to understand, you know, once again, what got me to that um, point, point in my exercise to make this, you know, great workout. Also, you don't have to have a set program all the time. Sometimes, a lot of times, my best workouts are something I did not plan. A lot of times, I go to the gym and I have nothing planned until I get into the gym. I know that, you know, Mondays, this is my split. Mondays is my chest and back day. Tuesdays is my leg day, hamstring, glute dominant. Wednesdays, once again, abs, conditioning. I'll probably use the arms. Um, then Thursday, once again, back and chest. When it comes to back and chest day, it all depends on, um, you know, which, which, depending on intensity wise, like if I go a heavy bench, all right, I'm gonna go a heavy bench, hit maybe some light loaded bench, and then really, you know, focus on an intense back workout, the rest of that workout. And, you know, with legs, it's simple, just quad, I mean, uh, hamstring glutes, and then the next leg day, of the week will be a quad down there, front squats, which I'm gonna start getting a little bit more consistent and showing you guys my full split for the week. Um, so like and comment below if you're interested in that. But these are things that, you know, I know what I'm training that day, but specifically, I don't know what I'm hitting for how many sets, whatever, because I really don't like to plan simply because I don't know what the gym's gonna be like when I get in there. And then sometimes that really messes up my exercise, my, um, my, my fitness in that day. Like I can get to the gym, all right, I got this plan, this is my schedule, boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. And then the first thing I have is bench, and then I get to the gym, and the bench has been taken up for 30 minutes. Like, that stuff like that can ruin my workout. And a lot of times, my, my workout gets ruined easily. Like just now, my girlfriend was at the, at the gym, went there, I was supposed to get some cardio and stuff done. But the gym was so packed, and the area that I needed was so, like, there's so many people there that I just left. And <laughs> that happens a lot of times. I go to the gym and I leave the gym a lot of times. But I make up for it and say, all right, I'm gonna get up early in the morning, get that work done, and then do a two a day. So, I mean, things like that happen, you can make up for it. But it's just, like I said, man, be prepared for anything. You know, be prepared for anything. And, you know, I'm speaking in ways that, you know, I'm, I wasn't being prepared for anything. Um, just because of the gym, that, the gym, that one specific gym is just so annoying that it's just like, all right, whatever. But, Always make time. Uh, once again, be prepared for anything. Bring the intensity, bring out that inner beast. All of you have it. All of you have that inner beast mode. It doesn't matter if you're not lifting a lot of weight, all right? You lift what your body can handle, and that's beast mode right there. If you're lifting what your body can handle, you're still progressing. I like this 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 uh, quote, right? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go by. It's, and it's from Black Clover, right? It's. It's okay to be weak, but it's not okay to stay weak. And I think that really like can resonate with like a lot of you, you know? It's okay to be weak, but it's not okay to stay weak. And it's not because you understand your weakness and everybody who understands their weakness or knows their weakness should really work on it, right? If you're not working on it, that means you're not caring enough for yourself to take care of yourself to make something happen, which means you don't think you're worth working on it. And that's one thing I want to change for everybody, right? Work on your weaknesses and, you know, just beast out, all right? Yo, check this out. G Fuel, you already know, I got to get the plugs in. Alpha Clothing, use code AFTERMATH for 15% off. G Fuel, use code AFTERMATH for 10% off. Also, I want to talk about G Fuel. Um, a lot of you guys are asking about the 24K you work out. It is discontinued simply because... Um, I didn't really do a great job. I'm gonna be totally honest. Uh, I didn't really do a great job pushing it out there as much. I mean, although it was an expensive workout, my pre-workout, and then they changed it to buy one, get one free. Um, they're not doing it. They brought me on specifically because of the workout, pre-workout. They're discontinuing it, um, which is why I'm pushing the G Fuel and Hydrate because I, I wanna stay part of the company. G Fuel is a great company, the gaming, fitness, uh, energy drink. They have a hydration formula now that I'm gonna be pushing instead because I know a lot of you are fitness hardcore people 
and you kind of think of G Fuel like, oh, G Fuel Energy, and like, oh, I really need an energy drink. I'm not a gamer like that, which it is for gamers, but you know, if you take coffee, you can replace coffee, a healthy alternative for coffee also. But we do have a hydration formula, which is pretty much a healthy style Gatorade, which you need, you know, say so you need to replenish your electrolytes. Um, it's, once again, you take a scoop of it. I have it right, right over here. So G Fuel Hydrate, take a scoop, put it in any type of water, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna be pushing that for you guys. Like I said, 10% off. Um, be looking out for my 30% off sales. I do this at least like once every so often, like a couple months, two months or so. So definitely check that out. And don't touch teas, they're coming. So stay tuned. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.